Mr. Speaker, yesterday we had a lecture on secularism from Honorable Ketan Lal, who made disparaging remarks against me and the NFP for turning a blind eye to destroy secularism. For all intents and purposes, Mr. Speaker, he was accusing me for turning a blind eye and ignoring discrimination against Indo Fijians. The filth, verbose, you know, the Speaker, from the Honorable Member wasn't surprising, who probably didn't realize what was scripted for him was not only derogatory but insightful. Yes. I mean, yes. I know he's, he's suddenly become a small parrot <laughs> for the General Secretary of the Fiji <laughs> First Party. <laughs> uh, I'm told that he's, he's got something on him. <laughs> and that, Mr. Speaker, came from someone yes. sitting there who kept his mouth shut when Ayah Sayyid Qayyum attacked the Vishwa Hindu Parishad organization that he was part of as a terrorist organization. He kept quiet. Not long ago, he was campaigning for NFP in 2018. I don't know what happened, Mr. Speaker, suddenly. And you can see the filth that is coming from him. Mr. Speaker, he was attacking me in Parliament when I, together with Honorable Agni Dev Singh, were in Dena Nandi, participating in the World Hindi Conference that was, as I said, in Hindi officially opened by His Excellency the President. And we know, Mr. Speaker, the high-level conference is being attended by India's Minister for External Affairs, His Excellency Dr. Subramaniam Jayashankar. I also said that last night the Honorable Prime Minister hosted a dinner for all the participants in Denaral. And today we are going to have bilateral meetings with Dr. Jay Shankar uh, later in the day. And Mr. Speaker, the fact that the old Hindi conference is being held in Fiji, the fact that the Prime Minister himself, you know, with, with the leader of the Sodalpa Party, Deputy Prime Minister Kamkamida, and myself decided that we're going to recognize Girmit as a national holiday shows that this coalition government is an inclusive, serious government understanding that this nation is a multi-ethnic, multicultural, multi-religious nation. Just like India, which is the largest secular state. You know, he probably doesn't understand the meaning, uh, Mr. Speaker, of, uh, of uh, secularism and ethno-nationalism. I mean, uh, the Johnny come lately reading uh, the script by someone who has propagated this racial hatred yes. for the last eight years in this parliament, Mr. Speaker. Whenever, you know, I remember whenever a member of Sudalpa party would stand up and talk about how Ethiopia community in the outer islands is facing water problem, would be accused of racism. Yes. Yes would be accused of racism. Mr. Speaker, we are, this government is trying to bring the people together. They did nothing. They did nothing in the last eight years in Parliament to bring people together. All they did was to campaign on racial line. We have seen parties come and disappear. And I want to remind people like Ketan Lal that NFP is going to be 60 years old in July this year. We are the oldest party, Mr. Speaker, in the, you, you are aware, uh, in, in the South Pacific. And comments like that is not going to make a dent on our philosophy and our idea of what Fiji should be.